Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV. Today is Thursday, October 15, 2015. My name is Sophia. And I'm Diego. Here's the news you came to see. Every year at the end of the first quarter, students, parents, and our administrators take part in student-led conferences. Since many students are new to Buffett, we went out to interview our assistant principal, Ms. Volna, about the night to get you caught up with everything you need to know. BBTV reporter Emily has a story. Student-led conferences will be held at the end of the month on October 28th and 29th. If you are new to Buffett, you may nev have never experienced a student-led conference and might not have any idea what they are. Assistant Principal Ms. Foldenall explains what the night might look like. Student-led conferences are a time when students bring their parents or guardians to visit with teachers and talk about their student work portfolios and student-led conference summary sheets. This is an opportunity for students to share with their parents firsthand what the students are doing in the classroom and the type of work the students are producing in every class. Most schools around the country have traditional conferences where it's just the teacher and the parents. We have always done student-like conferences and Ms. Volnell explains there are a lot of benefits to doing it this way. Students lead the conferences because it is the student work that we are focusing on. Students have the best knowledge of the work that they're producing, their goals for their classes, how they've done on their assignments and assessments, if they've completed any projects, and it gives the opportunity for students to actually share with the parents the process that the student went through for every assignment completed. So Bobcats, Make sure to have your parents sign up so you can get a set time for your conferences. For BBTV News, this is Emily reporting. AMC is officially in the middle of their annual horror movie marathon. The yearly event began yesterday and will be showing various scary movies from now until Halloween. Some popular movies that are shown are Halloween, Scream, Tremors, and more. If these are too scary for you, check out ABC, who will also be participating in the event. But show more fr family-friendly Halloween movies including Hocus Pocus, Adam's Family, Gasper, and more. Burger King has released a fairly odd burger to celebrate Halloween. Last month, the burger chain started selling a Black Whopper. Since its debut, the burger has been receiving bad reviews. Customers don't seem to like the idea of eating a black bun, and many critics think it's a desperate attempt to get back customers. Other than the new black bun, they have also replaced the ketchup with A1 sauce. So, Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. Would you try the new Burger King's Halloween Whopper? <laughs> That's all the news we have today, Bobcats. Let's now spin over to the Sports Zone for all your sporting news in action. Hey Bobcats, my name is Maya and you just entered the Sports Zone. Today is Thursday, so it's time for sports trivia. Today we are going to test your knowledge on different sports team logos, see how many you know in our fun game. Y'all ready for this? That's all the time in Sports Zone for today, Bobcats. Now over to weather with Edgar.
Hey, Ballcats, I'm Matt Grew with Wetter. Today will be a little breezy with a high of 70 and a, little, and a chilly low of 39. Tomorrow it will drop to a high 60 and low of 41. So finally, on Saturday, temperature will rise by a little breeze bet, making a high uh, be 62 and a low of 43. Fall might be starting to kick in, so stop wearing your jackets, Bobcats. Hey, Bobcats, this is Sydney, here for your quick feature of the day. Today's Thursday, which means it's time for Trending Thursday. Many people have heard of, of Comic-Con, which is a famous convention for comics. But have you heard of an event for corgis? It's called CorgiCon and hit the waves of San Francisco on Saturday. The fluffy little furballs gathered on the beach with wagging tails and adorable costumes. Check out these pictures from the event. Hey Bobcats, I'm Aaron, here with your daily announcements. Attention 7th and 8th graders, have you heard about Poetry Slam but haven't had the time to write and submit your poems? You're invited to a poetry writing session during homeroom in the commons. We will discuss the topic, share ideas, and then have time to write poems. Come join this fun writing workshop. Please see Ms. Thompson if you have any questions. Attention 7th and 8th grade artists, during second quarter, Ms. Gotch will be hosting an art club specifically for 7th and 8th grade students. If interested, please pick up a form in the office and return it to Ms. Gotch by this Friday. Spaces are limited, so don't delay. Bobcats, show your school spirit this Friday for the Superheroes vs. Villains Day. Capes, masks, hats, and costumes are welcome. We can't wait to see the best Batman, Superman, and Joker, and other characters. That's all the announcements today, Bobcats. Now back to the main desk for a little fun before we go. Before we go, you may have played a game called Would You Rather. This is where you are given two choices and you pick which one you, need, you would rather do. Check it out. Signing off from BBT, this has been Sophia and Diego. Have a fantastic day, Bobcats.